Welcome to the Bentley Systems training course where you will learn how to generate load combinations and specify analysis commands in the STAD Pro physical modeler. Over the next series of videos, we are going to show you several different workflows that you can utilize to accomplish different analysis scenarios using the tools in the STAD Pro physical modeler. This will include performing a linear elastic analysis, a P-delta analysis, a multi-run analysis, and also a direct analysis. In this particular video, we are going to be focusing on generating load combinations and adding analysis commands in order to perform a linear elastic or first order analysis. We're going to be using a model that has already been created in the STAD Pro physical modeler. And this model contains dead load, live load, and wind load. Let's go ahead and get started with the first step in our workflow, which is to generate the load combinations. Now in STAD Pro, we have two different types of load combinations that you can create. We have traditional load combinations where a set of load results will be combined algebraically to produce a superimposed set of results for post-processing. And we also have repeat load cases. In a repeat load case, this will consist of a primary load case using combinations of previously defined primary load cases. Now for this particular video, we're going to be focusing on adding in the analysis steps for performing a first order or linear elastic analysis. When performing a linear elastic analysis, we are going to generate traditional load combinations. So let's go ahead and get started with that. The first thing we're going to do is tell the program what type of load combinations we want to generate. To do that, I'm going to go to the data tab in the ribbon toolbar and then click on the options icon. Within the options dialog, select the analysis model tab and then review the combination load cases that are selected. To generate traditional load combinations, we're going to select the analytical superposition option. Once this is complete, Let's go ahead and click OK. Now we are ready to generate our load combinations. To do that, we'll select the Loading tab in the ribbon toolbar and then click on the Automatic Combinations icon. Within the Automatic Combinations dialog, you're going to select the code and table you are looking to use for your analysis and design. I'm going to select the ASCE 716 and I'm going to select the strength design L is less than 100 PSF. This is live load will be less than 100 PSF. Now if I would like some additional information regarding this code or table, I can click on the manage rules button. This will bring up the Automatic Load Combination Manager dialog, where I'll be able to see all the different codes or tables that are available for generating load combinations in the STAD Pro Physical Modeler. All of these load combination tables are supplied automatically with the program when you download it. Once I'm satisfied with the code and table that I've selected, I can go ahead and preview which combinations are going to be created. Now the program will go ahead and use the load category when generating load combinations. Once I'm done, I can click OK, which will officially create those load combinations for me. Here I can see that the spreadsheet 
is available in the data area that will show me all the load combinations that were created. Now at this point, I am ready to specify my analysis command. To do that, let's go to the Loading tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and click on the Analysis Commands icon. For a linear elastic analysis, we only need one analysis set, and we can go ahead and select the analysis type. Again, I'll be using linear elastic. Next, we can select our print option. What this will do is it'll allow you to add additional information to your output file after an analysis is performed. I'm going to go ahead and leave my print option set to done. Lastly, let's go ahead and click on the Load Conditions tab. Now within the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, you're going to want to assign all of your load cases and load combinations to an analysis set. As we do this, it's important to understand the relationship between the load cases and combinations and the analysis set. First, load cases that are not assigned to an analysis set will not transfer over to the STAD Pro Analytical Modeler and will therefore not be included in your analysis. So for this exercise, I need to make sure that my wind load cases are added to this analysis set, and I can do that by moving them over. Now, load cases also cannot be assigned to more than one analysis set. And load combinations won't be assigned to analysis sets if the physical modeler is creating analytical superposition load combinations. So for this exercise, we're only going to add our load cases to this analysis set as we are doing a first order analysis. Once we're done, let's go ahead and click OK. And our model is now ready. When you're ready to send your model data over to the STAD Pro Physical Modeler, you can select your Model tab in the Ribbon Toolbar and return to the Analytical Modeler. As long as your analytical model is created successfully, you can go ahead and click OK, and you will return to the analytical modeler. Let's go ahead and take a look at some of the information that we just specified in the STAD Pro physical modeler. And let's start with our load combinations. Here we can see that the program did successfully bring over all of our load combinations that we generated in the STAD Pro physical modeler. Because there is a blue C adjacent to each of these load combinations, we know that these are traditional load combinations and these are appropriate for a first order analysis. In addition to that, if we select the analysis tab in the workflow page control area, we can see our perform analysis command has been added. Now at this point in your workflow, you would then be ready to perform the analysis in the STAD Pro Analytical Modeler and then move on to the design phase of your workflow. If you found this video helpful, please give it a like. If you want to see more such series, consider subscribing to our channel. Thank you and see you next time.